Dum dum. Dum. Really? I'm gonna put him back in. Hold on to him, we got a double. Oh, they're eating it good. This one's choked it too. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Out here doing some fun fishing with my friend Tom here. Yeah, buddy. We are out on Lake Lanier today. We are going to do a big fish challenge. What do you think about that? Big fish. Yeah, big fish challenge. So we are going to be weighing our biggest fish each, competing against each other, just for bragging rights, just to see who has the biggest fish today. We're also trying to catch the biggest bag as possible and honestly just have a good time out here and catch as many fish as possible. So just doubled up. I think that was our, golly, first, first spot. of the weekend. Yeah, first spot. Yeah, so, first spot. Uh, two spots on the first spot. Not a bad way to start at all. But it should be a great day. That one? <laughs> that is a big one. That's a good one. He didn't even really bite it. He just kind of picked it up and held it. I don't really. I was jogging right past him. That's awesome. Nice catch. Thanks. That fish is solid. I had this one on a shaky head. Oh, my favorite. Chinese tungsten shaky head with a uh, old zoom trick worm. I say no free ads, but if you're not, if you don't know what a zoom trick worm is, you're living under a rock. Beauty. Let's how see how much she weighs. What's that? How big do you think? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, bad, see you, bud. Thanks for playing. What a cool day. Catching perch on Lake Lanier. Normally, if you guys are fishing these rock points out here, give it a couple casts, especially if you're fishing a shaky head or a jig. If there's any active fish on those points, they're gonna eat probably within the first handful of casts. So there's really no reason to, to slow down unless you're just trying to you know, catch one extra fish. But a crankbait can be a really good option as well just to get that reaction strike. There's one up there. Let's see if I can't hit him. I'm sitting right under that rock. Right there. Oh, 
Oh, I missed him for sure. There's one sitting up there. Definitely fish swimming around. The little guy. Not, not horrible. Maybe two and a quarter. This one's a little bit better. We'll see how big he is. Oh, he's not bad at all. Look at that one. Starting to make some progress here. Just had to do a little graphing around, find which ditches have fish. And uh, actually, more realistically, which ditches had bait. And the ones with bait, and I think we're 100% on. Come on. You guys ever have problems with your Rapala scale? By chance, this thing just seems to be so temperamental sometimes. Sometimes it works perfectly. I mean, it's so easy to use. But then there's other times that it's just, it won't even weigh a fish. Just shy of three. Look at how fat that fish is. Just eating some herring. That brings us up to about 15 pounds now. There's still a hundred fish up there. On the swimming around. If I could find them. But yeah, with the with Tom's fish this morning and the ones I've caught this afternoon, we're up to about 15 pounds. We're not smashing them by any means. Kind of a grind, like I said. But we're starting to put together a better bag, settling in, looking for what I'm comfortable with, what I know. Started off shallow. We might still hit some more shallow places, just to see. But started finding ditches with Ditches with fishes. Just need a couple big ones and we'll be all set. I'm gonna try something crazy here. Or something a little different. Fish probably haven't 
seen out this far. I'll make sure to blur this lure out. I'm just messing with you guys. Just throwing a jig. Good one on the spoon. That's a good one. He's pretty fat. Not a bad fish at all. It's got to be two and a half. What a mess here. I'm all over the place. I wonder if they're still down there. Yeah, they're swimming around. That's a good one. Another one on the spoon. This one feels better. He could just be fighting. The other one didn't fight at all. Oh no, he's definitely better. Good fish here. Another good one on the spoon. We're dialing them in this afternoon, no doubt about it. We've been catching fish just about everywhere we stopped. And uh, I think we just needed to take the time this morning to graph around with the big motor and find where, you know, what areas had bait because I'm doing pretty well right now. Maybe Tom's bad luck. <laughs> there he is. Another good one. He smacked it. Smacked it on the way down. That's unbelievable. We got him fired up right here. Another good one. Absolutely torched it. He's just a little fat one, but still fun. Golly. I'm good. I should probably reel in this other other pole, but no reason to stop catching fish. Another good one here. If I haven't created a mess. Oh yeah. 
Nice one. Another good fish. Nothing crazy big, but still a lot of fun. We're into them now. Look at the size of that one. I'm thinking this one's going to be a catfish. It's not acting like anything that I've felt. Maybe a walleye would be pretty cool. Oh, it's a big old spot hooked in the side. No way. No way. Check out that one. How cool is that? I guess he took a swipe at it and uh, just caught him, jigged him in the side. Look at how fat that fish is. Goodness gracious. Little bass. That is too fun. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it.
Look at this spoon. My goodness, they are chewing it up right now. It's fun. I'd like to catch more of these perch. We don't, or at least I don't normally catch these fish. Or these perch. But I'm gonna make some dinner tonight with them. I probably should change my hook. It's all bent out and probably dulled up from all these fish. I'm still getting them in the boat, so it's all that matters. What a cool day. Catching perch on the Lake Lanier. I don't even believe it. It's just, I mean, I've got four big ones. I haven't caught four perch in my life on this lake. This feels like a bass. Or, oh, he just came off. He's a big old bass. Big old bass. My goodness. Probably should bend this hook back. Or probably why I lost that last one. Being, being unintelligent. Just careless on with my hooks. I would say, guys, sometimes if you lose a fish, it's not your fault. I mean, there's just sometimes you do everything perfectly and those fish are gonna get off. But what I've realized, especially over the last couple of days, specifically, is that a lot of the reasons fish come off are just because my carelessness or lack of attention. And again, I'm just out here having fun, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but we make those changes for tournament day but most of the time golly you can really put the odds in your favor by just you know paying attention checking your hooks each time checking your knots each time and that'll really help you guys be successful this is just wild how many fish are actually down here man he ate it on the fall there he is Man, he destroyed that on the fall. My goodness gracious, this is this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's got to be a bass. No way, this is a perch. No way this is a perch feels big oh he's not bad at all good fish that's got to be another three maybe not he's trying to hurt me a good fish and see if I would have let my hooks dangle open or stay open I might have lost that fish you just never know that's why you got to stay on top of your stuff This feels like a good one. Finally caught one on the Demiki. Let's go. Let's go. Jeez. He better be big. I'm gonna be embarrassed. 
Maybe he's just a hard fighter. Oh, he's big. He's pretty big. He's pretty big. That's a big fish right there. He might be. That might be our one close to four. Too much fun. Oh, wow. This school's fired up. He's got to be three and a half. I would think. Oh, yeah. 381. On the Damiki. All right, guys, that's a wrap. To give you guys a little recap of today, you guys saw morning was super tough, afternoon ended up smashing them. So you never know on this lake, it can change hour to hour, it's crazy. Definitely wish Tom could have been here to catch some more fish, but it is what it is. He had to get going, so no problem at all. With that said, our challenges for the day were mega bag or 20 bag, and actually no no that's not true we were doing a big fish challenge so tom had big fish up until he left so i would say he's the winner but i ended up catching one close to four which beat his uh big fish for the day but like i said he's not here so you guys decide who wins the big fish challenge i had a four pounder tom had a three and three quarter i believe so pretty close there but like i said he only fished half the day you guys decide Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all in the next one.